everyone, welcome to scrapbook.com. Happy card making day week here at scrapbook.com. They are celebrating World Card Making Day 2019 with an entire week of videos and sales. And my name is Alexandra Stapleton Smith. I'm from the Hedgehog Hollow, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lawn fawn reveal wheel card. And I'm super excited because I really love these cards and I'm integrating the reveal wheel that was released about a year ago with some of their new stamp sets. So we're going to be kind of amalgamating things and I love stretching my supplies. So I love bringing old and new together. So it's really, really exciting to be able to do that. So let's dive straight in. I've kind of prepared some things so we're ready to go to make it nice and easy to really show you that assembly process. And everyone looks at reveal wheel and thinks it's super difficult, but it isn't. All you need is the reveal wheel die set. So that cuts out like this. And there's lots of different inserts that you can have. So here I've used like the one that looks like a rainbow, but there's an ice cream, there's a pumpkin, there's a snowflake, there's an apple. There is so many different options. So you can choose something for any occasion. So I already prepared that. And then you'll need a second one. You don't need to cut out your item here in the second one, but I happen to have done it. So I'm not gonna worry about that. You can have it plain or not, it doesn't matter. And then you need the wheel itself, the little circle piece, and then any decorations you want to. We're also gonna want to stamp our wheel and you can do that freehand or there is this handy dandy little stencil you can get like this that you literally just lay this on top, line it up as I'm gonna do here. And then you can just stamp on top your sentiments and of course it's all perfectly lined up. How easy is that tip there? So I'm using this Yeti or Not stamp set. And we had already stamped out have a really and then Christmas. So we can have um, cool, happy, you know, lots and lots of fun things. I'm gonna pop some of these inside of my reveal wheel. So I'm just gonna grab myself my acrylic block and I'm using my Lawn Fawn black licorice ink pad. And I'm gonna stamp it in here. So here's happy. And then I'm also going to use cool. Again, really simple. Of course here, I know exactly where I'm stamping it and I don't have to worry about anything. However, I have realized I've done that slightly the wrong way. So what's the best way to do that? Turn it the other way up, of course, because that gives us two goes at this. So we'll do cool. And then we're gonna pick up happy. And this time we're gonna to remember to stamp it upside down. Just like that. So we now know that that's in exactly the right place. I'm gonna put the lid on my ink pad. And the next thing we want to do is take our little piece like this and you'll need a brad. So I just have one of the Tim Holtz brads and I'm gonna pop it through both layers. So it's through my circle and then it's gonna go through my wheel. So easy peasy, just like this. And then you're gonna take one of your top pieces and you're gonna line that up. And what you'll find is your circle that we just put our brad through lines up perfectly so that you can see your wheel is there. So again, it's really, really easy. And to stick it on, you can use adhesive or foam. Lawn Fawn recommends some foam. So that's what I have here, this little foam roll. And my non-stick scissors, I like to cut it down the middle here, I find. It gives me a better effect. So I'm just gonna pop foam. And you don't want that foam to extend past your middle circle. Otherwise your wheel will not wheel. So I'm going to just pick this off. And if you have longer nails like I do, you might find that the craft pick helps you just get that release layer off. So I'm going to just release that off of there. And I don't want to lose my little tip from my mountain. So what we're gonna do is turn this the right way up, line everything up, and then press it down firmly and make sure we're stuck. And what you'll then be able to do is turn our wheel. See, simple. Okay, we're on the home straight already. You see how easy this is once everything's cut out? The next thing we're gonna do is again, take our foam tape and we're gonna put some on quite generously. I like to do this nice 
thick. Again, you don't want it to touch your wheel because otherwise your wheel is not going to spin. So you're going to pop it all around your empty card base like this. And you definitely want to put it on this side as opposed to the other side because otherwise you won't know where your wheel is going to be. I like to cut myself a strip and then kind of position accordingly like so. And what I'm going to do is do this and then kind of cheat a little bit, but it's just more of a top tip than a cheat, you can see. And this is why I love these nonstick scissors. You can get them at scrapbook.com. I'll link everything I'm using in the video description and in the order that I use it in the video. Again, grab your craft pick and remove all of those release pieces. Scrapbook.com also now do foam squares, which would be super easy for on the back here, because of course they're gonna be smaller pieces. I'm just going to lift all of these up and not stick myself to the card is the idea. Again, just lift all of these up. And now we're going to stick it on to that original piece, that second piece that we already cut. Just like this. Again, super, super simple. So I don't want, um, I mean, interactive cards are so trendy and they're so cool and I don't want people to feel intimidated by them. I really want people to feel kind of empowered by them and be like, oh, well, this was really easy um, and I want to make more of these. So now what I'm going to do is take this piece again, make sure it mirrors the top and then line it up just like this. So you basically create that sandwich and now you can see I turn my wheel. I mean... How easy is that? Really, really nothing difficult and you can see nothing that um, scary. Now I'm going to take some liquid adhesive. I like the Nouveau Deluxe and scrapbook.com sells that too. Again, if you do pre-cut that piece, you want to avoid it. And I'm just popping my adhesive all over. This is a really nice strong one, so it's not going to fall off the front. And this is one of the scrapbook.com pre-scored card bases. Again, anything that makes my life easy, I love. So I'm going to open this up and stick it on the front. And then we get to do the fun part, which is the uh, decoration, of course. Okay, so that can be drying. Now, in the meantime, we get to stick our pieces on. So this is the Lawn Fawn Mountain Range. And I'm going to just grab some Nouveau Deluxe just to stick some on here like this. And of course you want a nice sturdy card base and these are a Nina cardstock so they're nice and thick so they're going to hold everything. I'm just going to work out which peak goes with which. I think actually that might be that one. This goes here. This goes here. I just like to test these things out first just before I stick it down because of course the one thing you don't want is to stick it in the wrong place. So now I'm just going to add my adhesive on and I love doing this with tweezers. I already have those here ready to go to make my life easy and the great thing about this adhesive is it dries clear. So if I get any kind of ooze, oops, don't want it to go in my interactive bit, then I don't have to worry. Like so, see, look how quick this card is coming together. So, providing you have everything pre-cut, you really could sit in front of the sofa, you know, the TV one night, and just sit with your die cutting machine. I like the Gemini Junior, and you could die cut everything. And then just sit and assemble these really, really quickly. I mean, this is not taking any time at all. And you could also put adhesive sheets on the back if you wanted to, to make it really, really quick and simple for yourself. Um, the Yeti, you could, I fussy cut this one, but you could easily do it with your scan and cut um, if you wanted to. But I fussy cut him and it took me less than a minute to fussy cut him. And I just did some really basic coloring, nothing difficult or anything like that and I was thinking I might kind of do him so he was a snowboarder on here I'm going to add some um, foam on the back of him just like this again just pick that piece there we go up oh. 
And then I already have my sentiments done here. Again, something else you could do in bulk and then just snip, really simple. So I'm all about making card making simple. If you wanted to embellish the background, I thought something that'd be really simple is just to flick some white ink or um, some white paint on the background if you wanted to. You could of course do something more, um, you know, more inventive if you wanted to. You could do like an embossing folder or a snowflake die with glitter behind it. If you're really looking for a bulk solution, but you wanted to do something more, then this is a really, really great, great way to go because the assembly of this is like a 10 minute assembly. So I'm gonna do my Christmas down here and then my have a great, which is one of these, this one, have a really, and I'll try to get the foam in the right place so I don't have to trim it this time. Kind of gonna go on the wonk just for fun. And then you can see, so have a really cool, have a really happy Christmas. And you could add more sentiments if you wanted to, but again, it's just a really fun thing. There is an interactive set, set that says turn here. So you could add those details. As I say, you could kind of splatter the background if you wanted to, but this is like a 10 minute assembly. So I really wanted to show you how to make interactive cards fun, quick, and easy. So I hope I've done that. Again, happy wild card making day. I hope you'll hit subscribe and ring the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Everything I've used is in the description below and it's here at scrapbook.com. They've got tons of sales going on for World Card Making Day, so check all of those out all week long. They've got amazing videos going on too. And of course, hop on over to the Hedgehog Hollow and come say hi there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.